Hey everyone, Evan from SparkFun Electronics here. I hope you're getting excited for AVC this September. We sure are. As we design the course, we want to make sure that the remote sensors that you might be using on your robot interact with the hay bales we're going to be using to bound the course. What's a remote sensor? Good question. I'm glad you asked. There are a wide variety of sensors used by robots to translate their surrounding environments into electrical signals, from bumpers and encoders to GPS and sophisticated machine vision suites. Remote sensors can detect an object before the robot hits it. Most remote sensors use either infrared light or ultrasound to determine the presence of an object and its distance. The sharp infrared sensor uses the intensity of infrared light, whereas the time of flight sensor and the ultrasonic sensors use the time it takes for a return signal to determine the distance. Infrared is a class of light not visible to the human eye. Similarly, ultrasound is a mechanical vibration like regular sound, but it is outside of human perception. Here we have each of the four sensors attached to a SparkFun redboard. As each sensor approaches the hay bale, you can observe the changes in the data. The redboard is running example code for all of the sensors, which can be found in the description below. Each of these sensors is just spitting out raw data. I strongly recommend calibrating your sensors on the day of the race to account for varying light and weather conditions. See you on September 17th at the SparkFun Autonomous Vehicle Competition.